Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, God bless you. This is Freddy Cruz on mission vlog number three. I want to apologize. Well, first say thank you to my family and friends, fans. <laughs> if there are any out there who have viewed my previous two videos, I, I also want to apologize because I've taken so long to get my third video out. I really thought this would have been a lot easier, but it's not. And mental hurdles you got to overcome. To just kind of sit down in front of this video on the front of the camera and and shoot these and um but i'm trying and i'm going to do them and i'm going to keep going for my goals that i said in my first video um, my second video i said i would talk about my business ideas and ventures that i'm on here in puerto rico my journey here and so i'm going to talk a little fast i don't want my video to last you know eight nine minutes and i've already shot this a couple of times so but that said, um, I would mention, I said I would mention one of my businesses was this Jack painting, Yalguito Mas, which means in a little more, some other things that I'm doing, but painting is primarily um, the thing that I'm focusing on right now. It all started with just an elderly person in my community whose house was pretty tattered from the hurricane, and I offered to paint her house, and from there I got another house, and then it just became a thing. And I've been somewhat, you know, uh, successful I'm painting a nice big house right now and I'm working on a couple other houses lined up for after this project that I'm on but um, I got some ideas with that that I'll probably share in future uh, videos as well as a bunch of other business ideas that I'm working on that I'm moving from Jack painting to Jack enterprise um, like I said I don't want to make this video long but my thought for today that I want to share with you is faith I've been listening to um, for whatever reason to some of these um, self-help gurus and from old old schoolers like Napoleon Hill who wrote a book um, Think and Grow Rich not that I'm pursuing being rich but but, but anyways the point is um, there's another guy I've checked out Proctor who's a re, uh, another guy and, and there's another one out uh, Vincent Peel I believe it is uh, I've been listening to these guys and it's interesting because what I'm discovering is that a lot of the things that they're teaching are you know Biblically, you, you can lead into the Bible. It's like even with this whole thought of faith uh, that they talk about in this Think and Grow Rich book that I've been listening to, it's like the Bible teaches us those things. Like if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. You know, you can do so many things when you pray and you ask God. You need to believe so you can receive. And so I'm listening to all these self-help gurus and positive thinkers, thinking, man, you guys are like taking all these ideas from the Bible, and you don't want to give God the credit. And um. That's what people who who secularist and whatever. But, but but anyways, the point that I want to make is just that I feel like through these listening to these people and being brought back to biblical principles that are there that they're applying and they're achieving success from, but not wanting to give God the glory. I'm saying through this video, I want to encourage you. Like there's something God put in your heart. He's wired you. He's made you for. And that maybe you've been afraid to pursue and you failed many times and and listening to these guys just reminded me of things i would hear my own pastor tell me like hey failure is not like there's nothing it, it, how, how would i word this it's like failure is not bad man failure is a it's a school it's it's a lesson when we fail we learn things and from those things we grow there's things that you know right now things that you've accomplished right now that you wouldn't have if you had not failed at other things and so don't fear failure but don't let failure hold you back like overcome those failures learn the lessons you need to learn that there's things that god has wired you and if you don't want to give god the credit you don't have to but he's wired you and he made you for and maybe you're not accomplishing because of fear and i want to challenge you through this video overcome your fear push forward there there's just an interesting story i heard about a guy who was like three feet away from discovering this amazing gold mine and um and I've, I've experienced that in my own life where I've seen people just give up right before this blessing is about to pour on them. And I've seen it happen personally. So I am just want to encourage and challenge you through this video that if you have um, found yourself uh, with a barrier, with a wall, an obstacle to you pursuing your dream or the thing you feel you're called to, I want to challenge you through this video to just overcome that hurdle. Jump over that hurdle. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Push forward. There's a blessing waiting for you on the other side of that barrier that you're looking at is impossible. Nothing's impossible if you believe. And I say believe in God and trust God because he's for you. But if you don't want to give him the credit, just, I don't know. But 
push forward, overcome. This is Freddy Cruz on Mission blog number three, and I'm going to try to be consistent with my blogs, but help me achieve my goal. Check out my first blog, and um, I love it. This is great. God bless you. Peace, with you. Peace be with you. Adios. <laughs> my favorite coffee mug. <laughs>